The book is about largely about my father, who one day discovers that he can talk to the dead and heal the sick. And from that moment on, our lives totally changed. For many years, I never told people about my father. Um, I pretended my father sold insurance, um, especially when I was going to school. Uh, because I saw my father, as I said, he was harassed by the, the authorities. Um, the police were always knocking at our door at 4 o'clock in the morning uh, that my father was doing strange things. So I grew up with a kind of, uh, with two selves. And there was, I developed a, a, a very public persona where I was like a normal kid and I pretended everything was fine. Um, on the other hand, I was fascinated by what my father did, and I was very interested in it. Almost overnight, our house became like lords. People coming in wheelchairs and crutches, uh, people bringing babies who couldn't hear or babies who couldn't see. And my father was able to cure these people. Over the years, my father healed thousands of people. Uh, some of them he never met. He would heal them over the phone. They would call from all over the world, whether it was from Greece or uh, Caracas. But he always asked them to write letters so that he would know how effective his healing was. And he has thousands and thousands of letters, some of which uh, I use to base a lot of the stories in the book. Over time, as my father developed his healing methods, uh, various spirit entities started to show up in his life. Each one had their own names, their own personalities. And they would communicate with him sometimes three, four times a day. My father, with the help of his spirit guides, developed a lot of different healing methods that I think frankly don't exist anywhere else on this planet. This was information that he would receive and record and uh, instructions on how to create different kinds of healing energy. My father was very interested in being empirical. He would record, tape record actually, most of his healings, um, the date, what the diagnosis was, and he used these different things like the pendulum to be able to give diagnosis actually quicker than an x-ray or a CAT scan. To me, being an artist, it was like being a magician. You were able to see things no one else could see, and you were able to take that invisible vision and make it tangible and share it with other people. It was like a magic trick. My paintings became kind of like a mystical obsession, but I, I wanted to take some of his ideas, and the way I could do it is through painting. And for me, the paintings happen almost in a kind of like trance state, uh, not unlike maybe when he would be healing. And I go into the state where I don't know anything else that's going on. The painting's talking to me and it's telling me, put this image here, put this image here. This image is talking to each other. This energy is coming up this way. And that's how I make the paintings. Interestingly, while I wrote the book, I, I couldn't paint because I realized that I'm telling the story of my father and my family, which is the same story I tell in my paintings. This time I was putting it in words as opposed to paint. So I didn't want to be redundant, so I stopped painting. Now that the book is done, I can go back and, and start painting again.